done well has been just seeing the ball and being relaxed up there. My Today, my first three at-bats, I was just kind of um, all out of whack. I mean, I had kind of known before the game, actually, today, I think, that, okay. that it was going to happen. So I think <laughs> I don't know if that played a part into it. Right. And uh, But then I just kind of let it go. My last two at-bats, I made solid contact and just, I mean, guy made a diving play, and then I hit it right to the second baseman. So there's nothing you can do about that. But, um, yeah, overall, when whenever things are going well, it's all about relaxing and being mentally strong and uh, not letting failures really really get to me. I haven't got to talk to you since it happened, but yeah. what was it like for you to get called up um, to spring training this year? What did you learn there? What was that experience like? That was awesome. Being around the guy, the uh, the major league guys was, was a really neat experience and uh, they were all just so welcoming and the way they go about their business. Uh, I just learned like the meetings they have as a team, just the input that every player has is incredible. They think about every situation on every play and they know where they need to be on the field, especially defensively. It's it's pretty incredible to watch. So being around them, you kind of know what to expect and how to prepare to be successful in the majors. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to, to move up and move on to the next step. As we just found out, Trey Mancini, their three-hole hitter, leading the league in pretty much every offensive statistical category you can imagine, uh, just got promoted to Norfolk, AAA today. Uh, ironically, he went 0 for 5 at the plate. Uh, but it, it'll be the day that he'll remember where he also got promoted to Triple A. So we wish Trey Mancini good luck as he moves on. And uh, Gary placing him. How, how much of an impact do you think it will be for this team going forward uh, by losing a power hitter like uh, Mancini? Unfortunately, this is the life that minor league teams have to deal with getting people removed from your roster uh, when they do too well. <laughs> next thing you know, they're gone. When they do too bad, maybe they're getting dropped down to the next level. I'm thinking uh, Lattimore might have a little bit. He's been. He's only batting 100 so far this season. He might find it a little bit tougher now only because people might pitch around him because other than him and Yastrzemski leading off and Corbin Joseph, uh, there's not much more pop in this lineup. So unless they get someone sent down or called up that has that pop that Mancini has, which is very extremely hard to replace, uh, they might be struggling a little bit offensively coming in here. But uh, Gary, Gary didn't know who the replacement was yet. He's optimistic as he has to be, um, but it, it will be yet to be seen who they replace him with and if they will have the, the offensive output that they've had here.